there's something amazing happening in the cannabis space, and it involves balls. In this video, I'm going to talk about it. This is the pinky, by the way. I'm going to talk about this. It starts with this. I'm going to try not to make too many ball jokes, but can't guarantee anything. So buckle up. Let's go. What you kids know about the 420 vape zone? Every day I wake up and I get stoned. Tiny little thing, isn't it? But the size of my thumb? If you're familiar with my channel, you know that uh, the Flower Pot B2 is my most used vape of the last month or so, anyway. It's my, my preferred heavy hitter. It's a, an expensive rig and it's filled with balls and it hits really hard. And uh, this device right here is a DIY vape called the Pinky. The parts list are on my website. It was designed by a 420 Vape Zone community member named Secre Agent. Uh, she put this vape together using a number eight TIG welding nozzle, a little ruby infused ceramic nozzle used for TIG welding. And it fits inside of a 20 millimeter coil. Uh, these 12, 20 millimeter coils are often used for your e-nails. Your keeps your e-nails hot. So all, all, all the e-nail devices that you, you see around are usually controlled by a, a head and a coil like the flower pot is as well. So if you have old e-nails around that are 20 mil, chances are you could pick up some of these TIG nozzles, some balls, some screens, and build yourself one of the hardest hitting dry herb thermal extraction devices known to exist. Uh, it's truly a hard smacker and it, it, uh, it comes in at, at an amazing price point. Even if you have to buy the whole PID, if you have to go out and buy, buy a PID, you're going to spend 85 bucks and then 40 bucks on the, on the coil. Uh, and then when I bought a box of these, they, they come in boxes of like 10, I paid 10 bucks. And since then the price has gone down to like three bucks just from all the people buying them, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works with Amazon, but these things are cheap and uh, they appear to be very, very hard, very durable and safe. They fit perfectly in there. Like you got, you got to wedge it in there. It's not, not, uh, it's too strenuous. So you don't do it when it's hot, but uh, it, since the coil is wrapped, uh, you can turn it uh, one way easier than the other. So it's easier to, to turn your way while, while pushing that insert in there. And then it seals with, with screens. There's a screen on the bottom and that screen goes in first and a basket screen on top. This device was only released like a couple weeks ago, a month ago on 420 Vibes on the, the full build is there and uh there's room for improvement like the screen isn't super secure i mean uh, i've done i've done the shake test and i i keep it in a stand i'd keep it in the q aroma stand i love the q aroma stand uh canvas hardware has a stand it's fucking hot uh, that's what i don't like about the, the q aroma stand uh this thing makes it hot you can build this for potentially less than 150 bucks let me show you how it works real quick it works with glass bowls because it, it fits perfectly into the, the, the glass elevator bowl. I've been using it with my my hot rod bowl. I love the hot rod bowl the mostest. I'm controlling my pinky with a cannabis hardware PID. This is the old one that says new vape on top, but I'm pretty sure they still carry this model. Uh, but if, if any any 20 mil coil will work without any modification. And that's that's what's great about the pinky here. The spoon, a little scoop from Old Head. I freaking love this thing. This is one of my favorite, favorite cannabis accessories. It goes so well with the Brilliant Cut Grinder, who is sponsoring this video. Thank you, Brilliant Cut Grinder. The Brilliant Cut Grinder is a three-piece threadless grinder that no threads to gum up turns easy like butter with one finger. Obviously when I put the nug in there, it doesn't turn with one finger. I gotta, gotta plow through it a little bit. You can get three different plates. And this is the coarse plate that I'm using right now. It has bigger holes than the medium plate. The medium plate has more holes and they're smaller. And then the fine plate, which I don't have handy, has even smaller holes. 
So the Brilliant Cut, available at Grinders for Life in 11 different colors, completely customizable. You can get all three different plates in different colors. Beautiful, beautiful grinders. And they're considered the best on the market by most. Uh, and certainly if you check out the 420 Vibs on Discord and ask your opinions, you'll, you'll hear most people will love the Brilliant Cut grinder the mostest. And I do encourage you to join the Discord, even if it is just to ask that. Go ahead, go ahead and do it. Here's the pinky. We're at 579 on the pinky. That thing slaps. It has a lot of punch to it. It's a pretty heavy hitter. I can feel it in my tonsils. You know, the, the little ceramic tube is a wonderful thermal casing for the balls. It tunnels them perfectly. And if you look at this through thermal imaging, you'll see it's like white hot and it's like so even. And there's not a lot of excess mass and I think that's what's so magical about this device I can't overpower it I can hit it in a glass bowl and have two bowls lined up and I can't overpower it I hit it as hard as I can I can hit it fast and it doesn't really seem to slow down to the point where it gets weak it's uh kind of unlike the other bowl vapes in in that dimension and it's considerably smaller and you'll notice that compared to other heavy hitters like the the b2 there's a lot of thermal mass here there's not a lot of thermal mass here uh here in in the pinky there is no thermal waste all of the heat is towards the balls and the balls are really where it matters it really matters in the balls so the you want the heat going to the balls as quickly and as efficiently as possible so building a device where there's no thermal waste and you can get the heat to where it matters and that is in the balls get the heat to the balls nowhere else nowhere else and that's what makes this thing so damn amazing it sets the bar so we're, we're seeing something pretty amazing happening here in the space the pinky's coming in really affordable really easy to build yourself if you're willing really easy to improve upon so other makers can and they will improve upon this thing there will be variations and there already are variations of the pinky for example there's the brain which is made with a glass tig tig nozzle so you can get the same little pink nozzle but in a glass version it's not quite as easy to build because the, the pink version has some little threaded in, in cuts in there so you can get the screen to stay but in the glass version it's all smooth so your screens are gonna go flying and you don't want hot balls flying trust me trust me I've, I've, I've picked hot balls out of my own shorts and I've had the, the fear of you know landing on my my hmm. you know pick them out of the carpet not my own carpet obviously but uh yeah, this thing, this thing makes me forget what I'm supposed to talk about next. So yeah, beyond beyond the brain, Sekiro Agent has also uh, conceptualized this 16 mil coil. So if you have a 16 mil coil, like the one that the, the DC elevator uses, and wrapping that around the shovel head post. So from Cannabis Hardware, you have the, the famous shovel head bowl. This thing unscrews and you can take out that post, which I've done here and I've used it in my, my hot rod bowl. You can wrap a 16 mil coil around this and turn that into a very similar device. Extremely hard hitting ball filled device that you can make out of an old e-nail. What's remarkable about this is the, the pinky has already inspired V goodies to potentially list the uh, the TITI is what we've been calling it. But, or the, the, the teat? So V Goodies, Scott has, has built one and is considering offering a package. Obviously he carries cannabis hardware, so he's got stock of the of the posts for the, the cannabis hardware 
uh, shovelhead bowl. So he's, he's got enough to, to, you know, sell the posts and the packages as well as make hard hitting DIY vaporizers. He's been making the DC elevator for a year now or more. Uh, it's been, I mean, that they added balls there like a year ago. So I think he's been carrying it for like 18 months through the duration of the modifications. And he's been doing a better job of, of those modifications. So if V goodies can carry the, the titanium teat, the ball teat, I'm not sure what the best terms for these are, for these DIY bundles, but that's a, a really good option. A, a DIY or a very affordable option for entry level vaporists to get a hard hitting thermal extraction device that delivers the same way that smoking does. And that's what vaporists need. That's what that's what the vaporizer space needs to excel and to, to convert the world, to change the world, to get more attention. You know, if, if I wanna sesh with Snoop Dogg, I don't wanna take a fucking PAX. I wanna take a, a hot rod or a flower pot or a, a pinky, you know, something something small that is simple and and native to use. Native to use is important. Every anytime you change the 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 process that someone is already used to, you're introducing things to make things complicated. And every time I've shared vaporizers with with smokers, they're like, "Man, that's a lot of a lot of work." I'm like, "What do you mean? It's just putting weight in the mighty. What's so difficult about the mighty? It's putting loading the bowl, unloading the bowl, you know." And they're like, oh, it's all the things. And it's like, can you have the things? But I get it. I get it. If you if you make it more of like the traditional method of like smoking a bong. And you deliver vapor that has the intensity and the visual effect and the actual potency plus. Uh, of smoke, it actually, it actually is way more potent than smoke. By the way, this this ball vapor is way more potent than than smoke. Smoke may be thicker, maybe blacker, but you're you're getting way more THC, cannabinoids, and flavor out of these ball vapes than any smoke would deliver. On that note, V goodies, the, the V goodies. I'm not sure if this is if this has ever been listed on the V goodies yet, but I, I don't think it has. Uh, but in other vape news, the, the pinky has potentially lit a fire under or uh, actually, I don't think this was a, a, even inspired by it because I know Brian has been designing this for a number of months. Uh, but Brian from Old Head has announced that he's discontinuing or at least temporarily discontinuing the production of the hot rod and he will be launching this new device uh, called the Freight Train. It's the flower engine. Uh, it has 34 four millimeter rubies and it has a 20 mil coil. So Brian, the innovative mind behind the, the hot rod, uh, has has also put out a little little 20 mil injector project. And uh, click through some pictures here. So it has less balls and they're bigger. They're four mil balls. And there's a titanium thread on joint. So this is like a lot of thermal mass that's gonna be threaded on. So this is gonna be insulated because it's threaded, minimal contact points, and it's gonna be a little cooler. But to see it hit, let's see Brian hit it. Look at that beautiful bong. Nice clouds. Works with the hot rod bowl, of course. That's how I'd be using it. That's a beautiful bowl. So that's cool. I'm excited to try that new product from Brian. But wait, there is more. Holy shit. Today, Cannabis Hardware launched a whole new product, which is kind of the same thing. The B0 for 50 bucks, 50 bucks, and it sold out so fast. Sold out so fast. Uh, I hope I hope uh, someone used code TROYTIME. You can use code TROYTIME at Canvas Hardware, save 5%. Uh, when the B0 comes back in stock, you know, I'm gonna be trying to get one. The B0 
is a, a similar little model here where it attaches to a 20 mil coil, the standard 20 mil coil, and it has an injector tip and it's filled with balls. They've basically machined a, a part. They've acknowledged, they've acknowledged the innovation going on in the space uh, and, and the DIY options. And they're basically exploring to see what they can do. And they've made this the B0, uh, an injector that fills with balls. There's a groove for a screen and then there's a snap ring that holds the device onto the coil. So no threads, nothing, nothing that's threaded. Uh, but again, uh, they were they were on the, the Cannabis Hardware Discord today. Uh, Chris and Edwin were, were talking and the device is, you know, it's they're, they're putting it out there uh, and they're getting community feedback. And uh, here's a cross section of it, which shows all this thermal mass down here again. So they, could, if they can optimize this and get this tightened up in there less waste the thermal thermal mass going there and more so it can focus on the balls uh, maybe even insulate it from the outside so put a material here that's transfers the, the, the heat and then on the outside something that uh, insulates it like a little guard that'd be that'd be sweet but 50 bucks what a what a sweet deal yeah so they, they made it bigger to step it up to 20 mil that's pretty badass man the, the b0 I want one. I want one in my life. I'm going to be building the titanium teat, the T-I-T-I. -I. I'll be building one of those very soon. But I wanted to I wanted to make sure that I put the content out there on the pinky. The the pinky, the parts list are available again on 420 Vape Zone. Uh, or you can hit up Cannabis Hardware, the B0, hit up Old Head, or you can just go wherever your welding supplies are. If you already have the parts, fuck them. Some people already have the e-nail and the, the the tig welding nozzles and you may already have the the ruby pearls or the, the glass and that's another thing people are filling these with uh cubic zirconia they're filling these with sick pearls they're filling them with uh, uh quartz frit they're filling them with all kinds of different blasting media and uh, getting them all kinds of different vaporizer results so it's a it's a really cool to see all of the tech unfold. There's all kinds of DIY happenings going on in the Discord and the 420 Babes on Discord. So make sure you're you're there if you want to get involved with the the chat community or the the session community, the vape, vape hacking community, whatever you want to call it. Uh, these different groups. They're they're all in the Discord. It's a great place to to be. But no toxicity. We don't do we don't do toxic. We don't uh, we don't do that shit. So don't be a turd hole. On that note, on the turtle hold note, it is time for me to go. Thank you for watching. Uh, thanks again to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you, Brilliant Cut Grinder, for sponsoring this video. For sponsoring. <laughs> Made a new, uh, what's that word? What's that word when you mix two words together? <sighs> uh, I'm not going to try to do that right now. Leave, leave a comment if you know that word, what I'm talking about. Uh, and that'll tell me that you've watched the whole video because damn, you're really going, really going for it, aren't you? Peace, love, and flowers, man. Balls, 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 and the balls, the balls, 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 bal